was a very beautiful weekend. It's very exciting. And what's, what strikes me is that the times of the first 15 riders are so close together. So I think we're professionalizing the sport. We're all doing our best, all doing our training, and we're all doing a good job. I want to start with the ladies. We have three beautiful prizes. And I want to start with the runner-up, the number four, because she is so close to the number three. She missed just two-tenths of a second to be on the podium. Oh. Best prize, Williams. Just two of a and then you on the Well done, well done. Number three, Marty Fiennes. Marie did 223.66. Number two, Nikki from the Spike. 221.30. And this year, the fastest woman in Europe in Moda Chimkana. Lienica van Popta in 15 from Poland, Lukas Malarz. Where is he? Numero 14 de la France, Clément Duval. Number 13 from Czech Republic, Yuri Karasek. Number 12, also from Czech Republic, Andrei Krupa. Numéro 11 de la France, pilote anti-ligne droite, Guillaume Pouillot. <laughs> Number 10, from Czech Republic, Yuri Chobane. Number 9, from Belgium, Kenneth van den Roo. Number 8, from the Netherlands, Martijn Stapelbroek. During the first heat, he was number one for most of the race, and then unfortunately, the riders started to get, to get faster. You still, did, you still did a good job. Thanks. Number seven from Poland, Krzysztof Tsikowski. Hey. Number six from the Netherlands, Bert Schultz. Hey. Number five from Belgium, Bart Hoster. Number four, the runner-up from Czech Republic, Jan Zapach. Then the first three were within one second of each other, and they were switching places. It was very exciting. Number three, last year's champion from the Netherlands, Christian Eckhoff.
Christian Stein was 158.95 with 157.96, one second faster, Richard von Kauenberg. <laughs> And also 157, just half a second faster than Richard. This year's European champion of Moto Cana, Bob Stubler. And you remember last year, we asked, would any, would a group in any other country organize this year's European Championship? And unfortunately, that didn't work out. I'm very happy to announce that next year's European Championship most probably be, will most probably be in Czech Republic, on Rhine. Hey! Yeah. Check friends have a good space to do it. It's the same quality we have here, but twice as large. Um, they have a good group of riders, probably a lot more riders from Russia, uh, Poland, and Czech Republic, and Eastern Europe in general, will be able to attend. Uh, we agreed that we will help them out with some of our people, uh, a group of volunteers. We'll ask some of us, some of you to come over to Czech Republic and help organize. If we can get to agreement, to, with the owner of the space, and Ungrai thinks that should be possible. Next year's European Championship will be in Czech Republic near Prague. Thank you, Andre. First of all, I'm sorry for my bad English, but uh, <laughs> well, that's how here. Uh, well, we will try to do the best. Uh, we are sh uh, it's sure that more Poland will come, some maybe Latvia, Russia riders. Uh, it is not twice bigger, sorry, but uh, maybe a little bit bigger and uh, it's a new beautiful city uh, called Liberec. Uh, there is everything, I, uh, it's in the mountains, so especially for Holland it will be good. <laughs> yeah, so. You are welcome, and uh, I think in one, two months we will be sure if it is possible, but I believe it is. Thank you. Great! Thank you, Andrei. You will keep informed by the writer mailing list and through the EU website. Now, go ahead. Come on, come on.